If all particles moved at the speed of light, nothing would exist. Einstein told us that no object with mass could reach the speed of light or C. Particles, like the photon, are massless, so they travel at C. However, matter particles, like electrons and quarks, have a mass which resists a change in velocity. What could prevent these from accelerating to C? A very special Higgs field. Fields permeate all of space, and each particle has its own. They contain a magnitude and direction value for every point in space-time, indicating the field's influence at that point. Fields also store potential energy, which is used during interactions. The higher the field value at a point, the more potential energy it stores. This symmetrical relationship means that potential energy doesn't change if we move anything in the system. The state of a field is determined by its energy. Excitation is the process of adding energy, which can create particles. The less energy a field has, the fewer particles it can contain, rendering it more stable. The most stable state, the vacuum state, has minimum energy where the field's average value is zero, and generally no particles are present. The Higgs field is unique in that at its zero field value, it has a very high energy, so it really wants to move to a lower state. The lower energy states are located around the zero field value, which means that the field has to choose a specific vacuum state to occupy, thus breaking the symmetry. So the overall energy distribution remains the same. As a result, the most stable state has an average non-zero field value, allowing the Higgs field to interact with other particle fields. When a particle interacts with the Higgs field, it experiences resistance to acceleration to the speed of light, giving it mass. While we don't know why the Higgs field exists, we proved its existence in 2012 by discovering the Higgs boson, an excitation of the Higgs field. By serving as a cosmic speed limit, the field allows quarks to make up protons and neutrons, which make up atoms. Atoms make up everything around us, including you.